Um, this video is geared um, uh, mainly for our ArtCam Express users. Um, we've had some people ask us how um, they can use our mini projects with ArtCam Express um, because of some of its limitations. Well, um, ignore those limitations because you can use our you can use our cam express with our mini projects without a problem uh, you will need to do a little bit more planning because um, you can't have more than one piece of clip art floating around at one time uh, and you don't have any layers like you would in um, our cam um, pro or jewel smith so um, you do need to plan a bit ahead. You know, if you know your material thickness um, from the get-go, um, uh, then you can plan while you build your model or build your composition to fit into the right um, material or material thickness. Excuse me. So, um, what we're going to illustrate here is uh, we're going to use the free um, heart and ribbon mini project from the Getting Started page. Uh, so, go download that, unzip it and uh, have that ready and then also we are going to use the dish from the uh, the dish shapes number one mini project um, that way we can show you how to set up a model so that you're machining below the zero plane of a already like I said maybe a cabinet door would be a great example you've got some doors in your kitchen that you want to add some uh, some details to and you need to get it below the zero plane of the board um, now, in Arcam Express, you could do this without having the um, the dish shapes number one mini project, uh, but you'd have a very sharp bottom to your dish. Um, using the uh, the mini project, you'll have a nice rounded bottom to the dish. It'll look much more appealing. Uh, and in the future, we're going to release more of these uh, shape packs, if you will. So you'll have other options. Um, to use as well down the road. So get those all ready. And once you have those all ready to go, then uh, we can um, continue on with the video. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, this is ArtCam Express 2012. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a new model and we're gonna make this model um, 150 by 100. So this is kind of the size of maybe our trinket box we're gonna work with the blank that we have. And we're gonna make it about, um, 12 millimeters thick sounds great and we're going to make sure that our material zero point is at the top of the block and our position is at the top of the block and that's set to millimeters right now so we're going to click okay and our cam is going to set up as a workspace and if we go to our 3d view you'll see that it's also set us up our material block which is this light blue um, kind of invisible block here, a virtual block, I guess. And our zero plane is at the top. Now, what I'm going to get us to do is we're going to hide our material block so that we don't see it. That's what this little dot, little button here does. It hides it on us. So that way, we it's not going to get in the way of our modeling. We're going to look straight down on our block, and we're going to bring in our heart from the free heart and ribbon mini project that you can download from the Getting Started page. Um, I just saved this off of my desktop and, and dragged it in. If I select the heart, I can press F9 and it will center it. I'm going to size it down a bit, so I'm just going to grab this node and hold down my Shift key, I'm sorry, my, my Alt key, and we're going to scale that down just to be about that big. And uh, over here we have our, our size of this right now. So we have, this is our transform tool. So we've got our width and our height right now. So let's change this to be um, 60 on the nose, that's our, just our width of it, and automatically scales because there are our width and our height, they're locked together. And we're gonna make it about uh, five millimeters thick. We hit apply. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom here and just make sure there's nothing else in here we need to worry about. And we are gonna add this, the combined mode is set to add. It's, we're gonna add our heart to our zero plane. So we're gonna paste it in. And if we twiddle around it, there you go, perfect. We're going to look straight down on it again. Let's drag in the ribbon, again, from the Heart and Ribbon Mini Project, the free one. Um, and we are going to grab the corner again, and we're going to hold the Alt key, and we're going to scale it in there so that it just kind of fits around that heart nice and snug. Just going to keep kind of moving it around a bit there until we get it happy. There we go, I think that's pretty decent. 
comes up the side pretty good, then it wraps underneath it over here. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to twiddle around this. I want to take a look at the edge of this. Uh, I think the ribbon is a bit proud of the heart, so we're going to go over here to our transform dialog, and we're going to change this to be a 7, and we're going to hit apply, and we'll look at it again. And it's still a little proud, so let's change it to 6. We're going to apply. Oh, that's much better. Now there's a little bit of a step there. It looks good. Pretty happy with that. Now we need to merge that in to our model. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and scroll down to make sure all this stuff is good. We're going to change our combine mode for this piece of floating clip art to be merge highest. That's because we want to merge it into the existing model. If we had it set to add, of course, it would add it to it, and you'd have this really weird bump across the middle. If we subtracted it, of course, it would subtract it. If we merge lowest it, then it would be something really strange would happen. So let's not worry about that. If we multiply it, not a good idea either. So we're just going to merge it in, and we're going to paste it. If something weird happens, that's probably the mistake. You can just undo it and go back and try another uh, option. So now we have the heart and the ribbon. I'm going to hide the, uh, the vectors for a second here, the vector visibility, so we can check it all out. Everything looks great. Let's look back down on top of it again. So now what we're going to do is we are going to bring in the dish that we have from the, um, the dish shape number one mini project. So we are going to show our vectors again, and we're going to drag in our rectangle now, or our rectangle dish. Now these dishes are modeled so that they're below the zero plane, which is important to remember because you really can't see it um, unless you twiddle around it. You can see the outline. Um, it just happened to be by fluke that this model workspace uh, is smaller than the piece of clip art, so it pokes out above, so it, you can see it. But sometimes you won't be able to, and all you'll see is just the outline. Well, that just means that it's there. Just twiddle to the side here, and you'll, you'll see it. So we're going to look straight down again on it. We're going to rotate this piece of clip art using the transform dialog box, dialog box, excuse me, if you scroll down. We're going to go to our rotate thing. So we're going to set this to um, 90. We're going to hit apply. Press F9. That will center it. And it, it's a little bit big um, for our, our, our relief. So we're going to grab the corner and we're going to hold our Alt key down and we're going to scale it. So everything fits in there nicely. Now, you'll notice that our heart and ribbon isn't centered in the workspace because the ribbon is a little the heart centered, but the ribbon has a long tail on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to center it visually inside this piece of, of clip art. So we're going to go ahead and just, just nudge that over using our, our arrow keys on our keyboard. And if by mistake you happen to off-select your vector, like off-select the piece of clip art, just, just grab the clip art and press T. Select it and press T and you'll get your transform um, controls back again, handles back. So we're just going to make that look about right. Now, what we need to consider here before we paste this in is that we want the zero plane of our material, all of this to be below it so that we're not hitting... Um, or so we can use a, a, a pre-purchased or pre-made block of wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out what the relief height is of this um, heart and ribbon combination. So if we click over here to our project tab and click up here where it says untitled, you'll see that our relief maximum Z height right here, just below our model information, is set to 6 millimeters. So we need to make sure our dish is a hair deeper than six millimeters. So we're going to go back to our transform tool and we're going to change this to be a 6.1. Hit apply. We're going to scroll down to the bottom just to make sure there's nothing else weird here. Normally there's not, but I just like to do that. And then we are going to change our combine mode to add. It's important that you do that because if you merge it into your model, it's going to go away because it's below everything else that's in the model. Um, so that's fine. So we're going to add that and we're going to paste it. And you'll see that our dish is now shown up and now we can scroll up to the side. We'll hide our vectors for a second and you'll see that it's below the zero plane. Everything is. Now, you probably would have noticed that now our dish, our rectangle, isn't centered anymore with our workspace. Well, we need to fix that because when you line up your, your piece of wood in your CNC machine, you want to make sure that the 
you know, your zero, zero is either in the corner here or is in the center of where you're going to machine this thing. So this is how we're going to do that. We are going to crop this model down and reset the center of it. So we're going to show our vectors, our vector visibility. We're going to grab this vector that ArtCam created for us. Every time we pasted something in here, a piece of clip art, ArtCam gave us an outline. And we are now going to go and select this outside outline. And we are going to offset it. I'll bring my dialog into my window here. About three millimeters outward. So let's offset that. Great. We're going to close that down. Now we're going to go up to model and then we're going to crop our model to that box. And we're going to click OK. So that's great. So now our model is is been cropped properly, but our zero isn't in the center anymore. It's still off center. So we're going to go to model and we're going to set size. And we need to make sure that our origin is now back in the center. We're going to click OK. And you'll see that now our everything's back where it needs to be. And our cam has turned on our, um, our material, which is great. So we can see that what we have is correct. Our model is actually below the zero plane. Now, if our cam hadn't have turned back on our, our um, material for us, we could have just clicked that dialog and up it would have popped. And now what you can do is you can select your outside vector or you can machine your whole thing and you can develop your tooling for that. You may even want to add in some V-carving on the ribbon in this particular case and then off you go. If you have any questions about using ArtCam Express and our mini projects, please don't hesitate to ask the questions below in our comments or email us at cncminiprojects.com. Well, safe carving and let the chips fly. This video has been Weekend CNC Warrior approved. Well, that's it.